Check out this backyard math with Ms. Hill's class. My name's Sophia, and I'm going to show you three examples about what I learned at school. So first, you see I'm standing on this rectangle on the sidewalk. You can tell it's a rectangle because these two sides are the same, and these two sides are the same. Over there, we have an acute triangle, and the bottom two angles are the same, but the top one is different. And over there, if we walk, you can see very well over that stop sign, a side, sides, which means that shape is an octagon. I hope those two or three examples help you very a lot. Bye! Hi, my name is Sebastian, and today we're going to be doing yard math. The first thing I notice about my yard is the fence. On the fence, in between each bar, there's a diamond shape. The second thing in my yard that I notice were the bars. The bars have parallel lines. The third thing in my yard that I noticed were my sheds. One of my sheds are made from steel. The other half of my sheds are made from wood. So that means one half is steel and the other one half is wood. The last thing I noticed about my yard is that on each side, I have um, either a wood gate or a steel gate. I have three gates on either side of my house. Two um, thirds of the gates are wood and one third of the gate is steel. Hi, my name is Jimmery and I'm going to be sharing with you some of my backyard math. One thing is that I have a right angle. As you can see, it's 90 degrees. Another thing I have in my backyard is this window. It is divided into six pieces. So that means one piece would equal one six. That means six pieces would equal six six. So six six would equal one whole. Lastly, these lines are parallel. So yeah, that's basically it. Bye! We have three chicken boxes, but only one out of the three is being used. Well, what? We have six chickens, but only one third or two sixths out of the chickens are Rhode Island Red. Which are the brown ones? There are six items on the patio, but only four of, four of them are made to sit on. Boys and girls, make sure you join Miss McDonough's Counseling Google Classroom. It's easy to do. Remember, once you log into your Chromebook or computer, when you're in Google, click on the waffle in Classroom. Then select the plus sign and join class. The code you'll need is H-I-L-P-G-6-V. Bryan County Schools is pleased to be able to provide breakfast and lunch to children 0 to 18 years at no cost to them during digital learning days. The link is available on the Richmond Hill Elementary School Facebook page. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. And remain standing for the moment of silence. I, I pledge, pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all.
boys and girls, the Library of Congress, and your favorite author, the author of Dog Man, are working together every Friday on this webpage, loc.gov slash engage. You can come on Fridays and you can see the video of Dave Pilkey. He might be drawing. He might be reading aloud. You'll just have to tune in and find out. That is on Fridays. Boys and girls, please join us for story time. It's easy to do. All you have to do is join our Google Classroom. When you log into Google, select the waffle and click Classroom and select the plus sign to join class. You'll add this code, IE4IHQW. This evening we'll have a special treat. Miss Burrell is reading one of my all-time favorite books, Ferdinand. Make sure you stop in for story time. Boys and girls, join Mrs. Rearley daily at our Media Center webpage to listen to Mrs. Daisy's Crazy. Remember to wash your hands. Hey girls, I'm going to talk about what ha proper hand washing today. We need to use soap when we wash our hands. Hand sanitizer is not good enough. So the first step is to turn the water on. Get your hands wet. Get some soap on your hands. Do not put your hands back under the water, but get the bubbles all built up on your hands. Bubbles, bubbles, bubbles. Some people like to sing the happy birthday song when they do this. And then the time that we sing the happy birthday song, most or all of the germs will come off of your hands. Now it's time to rinse. Once you've rinsed all the soap off your hands, grab a paper towel or two, dry your hands, and then turn the faucet off with the paper towel to prevent germ spread. Happy birthday! Today we are celebrating birthdays for Presley and Haley. We hope you have an amazing birthday today. Remember, pause. Positive attitude, act respectfully, work responsibly, and stay safe. Check out Adrian's book review. Hello, my name is Adrian, and I am reading The Lemonade War. It, I rate it a five. It is very detailed with a lot of funny parts. My favorite funny part was when Evan, when the baby was silent all day, and then Evan shut the window, and the baby started crying, and Evan was like, shh, shh because the fireworks were going on and the baby wanted the window open. Thank you for listening to the story and I hope you would read this book. And people would like this book. You would like this book if you were someone that has a lot of funny, if you were someone that really likes to be funny. Bye. Yesterday's question was, it's 166 miles to Jellyfish Beach. How many miles must you travel to get there and back? Hello, my name is Colin. And today's trivia question is 332. Today's question is, what's the smallest five-digit number you can make with the digits 3, 5, 9, 4, and 6? Good luck, Wildcats! Remember, you can submit your guess to the trivia question at the Media Center website. Click on Morning News and click on Login with Google. Good luck! It's time for the joke of the day. Hey everyone, my name is Chase Douglas Pommel, and today's joke of the day is where do you find flying rabbits? 
in the hail pool. <laughs> we are so proud of you boys and girls. Keep up the good work. Remember to check your Google Classrooms for assignments from your teachers.